How you going everyone? It's Kai from Cool Collectibles. Uh, just uh, giving you guys a quick look at a new pickup that uh, I found at uh, Big W in Australia today. We finally got something uh, released first in Australia uh, and it's the new the Bounty Hunter Code uh, which is in the same line as the um, original Jedi Path and Book of Sith uh, Vault versions. Um, and this one here is um, courtesy of Boba Fett. So here this is the um, nice slip cover. Um, that's got a bit of art and a blurb at the contents. So that's all pretty nice. And I picked this up from Big W in Australia for $50 which is pretty damn cheap um, and I think it's the cheapest price in the world at the moment. And the slip cover goes across um, this pretty nice and hefty box uh, with a nice Mandalorian um, skeleton there and I think that's Boba Fett's or I think that's Boba Fett's symbol and here's the actual vault itself which all looks pretty good now I guess um First thing, um, I'm going to have to return this one because of uh, two things. Number one, I'll show you that the um, the light and sound feature doesn't work fully um, on mine. And there are a couple of um, paint issues that you can see there. Um, and one around there where the paint's sort of coming off. Now, all of this sort of um, weathering and so on is intentional and it actually says that in the instruction manual. But um, these little weird parts here looks like someone sort of brushed something across or some machinery so I'll get that replaced uh, now to open it comes with this card that you can also um, it actually comes attached to the bottom so I guess you can store it away there if you if you want it um, and what you do is I'll just put this down so I can so these um, buttons on the side here, you press them at the same time and what's supposed to happen when you press them at the same time is that this will come down and it has a whole bunch of um, sounds and lights and so on but mine seems to stall halfway through that so I'll just press them now and as you can see the sound sort of starts and then stops straight away and no further lights so um, that feature is not working what happens now is you take the card in that direction and you put it in that slot and you give it a push and then it comes alive. And well, I think that's supposed to come up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so mine's not uh, working too well. Um, but there you go, so you get the book um, and another book underneath and um, I think the dart tip I think that is. So first up you get this incident report which I haven't actually read yet. Um, so you can have a quick look at that, have a book itself, the main book. It's actually really nicely bound in like a fake leather vinyl type material and nice gold embossing so the book itself is um, uh, probably better quality than the um, Jedi Path and Book of Sith and just like the others it comes with um, a whole bunch of removable um, accessories and so on um, that you'll find as you flip through the book um, and you should come across um, the odd removable um, page just like this thing here so this looks like a, a wanted poster for uh, Han and Chewie which is pretty cool so you'll find those as you go through and um, they're nice little surprises and um, I found that really really good in the original Jedi Path and um, Book of Sith 
and I think they, they only do that with the vault versions. Um, they started selling the books separately, but I don't think they came with all the removable accessories. Um, and it comes with this second book that is a little difficult to get out. I'm called Making a Killing, so I'm not sure who Cardosk is. I'm assuming it's another bounty hunter. So, I don't know if there's a blurb or anything, so I'm assuming this is some sort of um, diary or, or instruction manual or something like that bounty hunters so that's pretty cool and this thing seems to be pretty nicely wedged in there so I'm not quite sure how to get that out actually unless it's just wedged I'll see if I can pull that out so that looks pretty good so I think this is the uh, poison dart tip um, if I'm if I remember correctly, I'm not quite sure. It probably says it on the um, the back of the the cover, um, but it feels like it's. I don't think it's metal, but um, it's uh, nicely weighted and nicely sharp as well. So um, that just uh, fits back in there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, and to close it up, you pretty much just fold that down and lift that up again. Um, so yeah, unfortunately mine um, came with those faults, so um, I'll have to return mine and uh, get an exchange tomorrow. Um, but overall, um, it's a pretty nice set. Um, and if you've got the uh, the first two, um, this one's pretty much uh, a given to get as well. Um, so yeah, hope you guys uh, like that quick look and hope you guys can um, find it for a decent price. I think it comes out in the US uh, mid to late October, so um, Australia's lucky enough to get it first. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like that quick look and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.